All right. There we go. So estuary school. Yeah, estuary accent is uh, considered, you know, extremely high class and sophisticated sounding British accent. You have to go to school to learn it. And you need to learn that if you want to be a reporter or on the BBC, because everyone is required to know it. And that is uh, a bit ridiculous. <laughs> like every doctor, the majority of Doctor Who's have had that accent. Right. But, um... This I know. It's just kind of ridiculous because you're one of the people who have that accent because their parents sent them to really posh schools. And they're like, oh, so what do you do now? And they're like, oh, I uh, work at a fish and chips shop. Uh huh. They're like, ah, oh, so you must sound really, really classy. <laughs> also, the amusement of running into a friend of ours and forgetting that Welsh and Gaelic names are ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so. Like the, the you know Welsh and Gaelic languages are ridiculous. Yes, but um, a friend of ours named Finn. We assumed his name was just Finn, or maybe oh, no. Finnegan. <laughs> nope, his name is Fingle. Uh. Fucking Fingle, and I know that that. But here's the thing: I would not make fun of it if it wasn't for the fact that a friend of his. Like, he grew up with, that we know. I actually thought his name was Finn for 20 years, or, like, Finn or Finnegan for 20 years. And one day, he finds out his name is Fingal. And then he's driving around with his father later that day, because his father's taking him to, like, a job appointment or something. Yeah. And he mentions that Finn's name is Fingal. And his father has known Finn since he was a little kid. And they're just driving around silence for like 10 minutes after that before his father just goes, who the fuck names their child Fingal? <laughs> just like blurred out, out of the kind of angry sounding. And I said, who the fuck names their child Fingal? And I feel this is a fair question. But... The, the Welsh or the Gaelic. Yeah. So each layer is 16 blocks. I mean, I don't even know how many layers there are. I did get down to cobble, or get down to stone. I should see how many there actually are to estimate how many chests I'm going to need to store this. A lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure the number is really important. Well, if I want to store all the dirt, then I need to have an exact idea of the sort of space I'm going to need. I mean, I'll just... You can just add chest as needed. Yeah, I know. But my little dirt cottage might need an expansion. Well, no, you have a giant hole you're working with, too. Yeah, but I'm not going to store stuff in the hole. But it's a hole. Yeah, but the point is to remove things from the hole. You don't want to put new things in your hole. Yes, but when you put it in a chest, it takes up a lot less space. Yeah, I know, but that's still, like, two blocks in your hole. That's a euphemism, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's still the South Korean currency that's called the dong. I can't remember. <laughs> but there's... Oh, no, it's... It might be the Vietnamese dong. I can't quite remember, but... I still one day want to buy, like, a whole stack of dong currency. And just give them out to people. So I, for the first time in my life, got to handle Australian money. Uh, uh, it, at BotCon. It's plastic, isn't it? Yes, it's very strange feeling. I like the idea. I also like the idea of the Canadian currency being plastic and such. I I think it's a good idea, honestly. I mean, like, I always had heard that it was plastic, and that never made any sense to me, just, you know, in abstract. Yeah. And having handled it, it still makes no sense to me. It's... Because I still can't figure out the properties of this material that, you know, it's plastic, yet you can put it in a wallet and, you know, have it full and everything. Yeah. And it doesn't ruin Alright, it's special is what it is. Alright, so it's 51, 2... I, I assume it must be some kind of form of, like, vinyl 60. or something. Yeah. Something that's got, like, a really high resilience. Yeah. But even so, it's just, like... It's kind of 
baffling. Yeah, it's something that feels not normal and, in a way, not correct. So it's just kind of as, I don't know what this is and I don't like it. It's different. Therefore, yeah. I hate it. Yes, I'm an American and that's how that works. It's different. If it, it's different, that means it's wrong and it's scary. Okay. Any other spiders around here? Actually, I'm almost enough for a bed. Nope. Alright, so there's nine layers of dirt between me and the bottom. So let me figure this out. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that precious, precious bit of iron I have. Oh. I'll make a fucking bucket. A fucking bucket? Yes. <laughs> a bucket could end up saving my life. No, you know, you're right. I mean, at some point, that will be very true. Hmm. Also, I need to clear a bit more, uh, landscape for my house. That way I can, uh, build adequate storage. It's just gonna be a dirt house, but still. I'm really thinking we probably should program the command block to give a quantity and not just one at a time. Well, if you want to reprogram it, feel free. Like a stack of four or something. Alright, let me store the fucking bucket. Precious things in my inventory when I yeah. put the obsidian back. Okay. Get rid of obsidian because that's not fair. And do that. So I have also learned. I've also learned something very important yeah. in the past few weeks of time, which is. Never trust anyone who doesn't like One Punch Man. Ah. Uh, because it means they take shit way too seriously. Ah, uh, yes. Especially anime, which is not serious. I, I, it shouldn't be. No, it shouldn't. And I keep trying to express this to people, and they don't agree, and it's wrong, and they're wrong, but they don't like... They don't l accept the fact that they're wrong, and I'm right. Yes. But, um... It was... <sighs> Anyone who is start or takes anime that seriously ends up being a dickhead. Yeah. And it was just one of those. No, nope, no. Nope. All right. I have ever. Or I have learned all I need to learn about you. And I'm probably gro And I'm grossly overestimating simplifying, but there's just no reason to take anime seriously. I mean, like, I remember back when I thought that things like Evangelion were the greatest, most important thing in the goddamn universe. Yeah. And that it was so deep and meaningful. That's not. It's not even remotely. No. Like, and at the time, that was the big popular anime when I was growing up. And now I look at it and go, huh. It really actually is incoherent garbage. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, then you get the uh, Dance Dance Revolution episode. And yeah. Then things just seem like they're maybe not so bad after all. Yeah, I mean, it was a good series. And I still liked it, but, like, you try and search for the deep meaning there. It wasn't there. Yeah. And... Was, and that's when I, I realized don't take this shit seriously. Uh, nothing needs to be taken seriously about any of it. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like the same people who read Hemingway and think he's deep and a good writer and he's not. Hmm. I, like, my favorite thing was when someone asked him, him, specifically... What the metaphor 
was for Old Man in the Sea. He said, in the book Old Man in the Sea, the old man is an old man, the boat is a boat, the fish is a fish, and the sea is a sea. And that was the deep meaning of his book. Yes. Uh, about an old man fish. The sea. Yes, it was about an old man being angry at the sea, essentially. Which, uh, you know, I can appreciate that, actually. But, but it's taught me, you know, one of the things it's taught me is never try and look for deeper meaning, always look for the shallow meaning first. Uh, as I mean, the difference is if it's something like a lot of the Gundam series, there's some deep shit in a lot of those. Where you'll spend, like, the better part of a year with flow charts trying to figure out what the hell is actually going on. Now, usually the ones, I can never remember the guy who created the, um, who created Gundam. Tomino. Yeah, Tomino. I mean, there's, well, there's not a lot of subtle symbolism in his shit, but <laughs> unless you can call evaporating children being a uh, subtle metaphor for why war is horrible. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I've never bothered watching Edeon once Rob told me what it was about. God robot punishes people for killing each other by helping them kill each other, then destroying everyone. Right. Uh, okay. If you're God, couldn't you just stop them from killing each other? Nope. Okay. Just gonna help them. All right. Well, no, it's because it's about the lesson you learn. The lesson you learn is God is a dick. Well, you know. And a robot. I'm fine with the second part, really. Like, you know, that happens way too often in anime, though, because of Edeon. Where everyone's like, you know what we need? Giant robots that are gods? Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Still, I always like the old robot designs. Oh, and I'm gonna have to send you... What I played for Rob, um, in Final Fantasy... <laughs> Bless you, or Toph, or whatever that was. But in Final Fantasy XIV, they recently added a bo boss who is an homage to, um, to basically 70s giant robot anime. 70s and 80s. Uh -huh. And I didn't know what it was, or didn't realize that what it was, because I actually hadn't seen the boss until I, or when I listened to the music from it, I just thought, yep, this has to be a giant robot boss. And I think I... Nope, just a lag spike. Um, but they managed to f hit the traditional giant robot anime music so perfectly that I knew what the boss was going to be before they even hit it. Or before I ever saw it. So I'll probably have to, you know, just send you a link to see if it sounds as that or, you know, as much like that to you as it does to me. Because I played it for Rob, and he was like, that's giant robot. That's giant robot music. Like, okay, not just me. But, and I'll probably, yeah, I'll, I'll feel free to talk about that shit on, uh, on camera, because I don't even care anymore, so. Um, yeah, the problems with our former FC member, uh, who, over a drunken night, Admitted that she would be perfectly fine with being me and Angel's sex slave. And me and Angel basically went, Ha ha, drunk people say funny things. Like, no, I'm serious. Ha ha, drunk people say funny things. To try and get them the idea that they needed to fucking drop the point. Yeah. Um, well, of course, they eventually ended up leaving... Our guild because drama, 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 and we eventually stopped playing along with their drama. Uh -huh. And that led to them completely flipping their shit and then me just kicking their ass. But here's the funny thing. There's a person in our uh, free company who is the friend of theirs who they actually had a crush on. who Or who was a friend of theirs, I will point out. 
who as far as everyone in the free company was concerned, including people that had known him for more than 10 or 15 years, that um, his he was impossible to make angry as far as they were concerned. Well, when she left, he actually sat up and went, Oh, fucking finally, I couldn't stand any more of the bint. Yeah, it's a British insult. I think it's a combination of bitch and cunt. It is actually one of those British insults that um, is, it sounds very mild, but depending on what part of, uh, what part of your, or the UK you're from, I think it has different levels of severity. I see. But either way, everyone was just like, wow, what the hell? And, but anyway, his tune's name was Kubi. Q, a week later... My friend Ron, a friend in real life who is also on the server, you know, porn fanatic, uh, okay, he's digging or, or he's walking through a uh, city and he sees her standing there talking to some guy. The guy in question is named Yubi. Uh, she replaced Kubi with Yubi. Oh, it's like, uh, and was like, it's like, this is actively creepy. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that was... Like, apparently I somehow... And I don't know how I got this reputation, because it's not even remotely true. Have a reputation for being very even-handed and hard to anger. In the game. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck that happened. I think it's because I don't give a shit... While other people are getting very, very upset. And that has led to me seeming as though I am even tempered. Also, I have this thing of when I'm actually getting angry, I pass through mildly annoyed into, um, well, what Angel refers to as woman angry. Where I don't just get angry, I go for personal... Uh, I go for personal insults that I know will hurt someone. Like, not like even, uh, I'll bet you have a small dick. Like in a dungeon with some random stranger who was being an asshole the other day. Where do these chickens come from all of a sudden? I don't know, I haven't done anything. But, like, in a dungeon with random people, and there was an asshole in it who kept trolling, being a dickhead to everyone. And I don't remember exactly what I said to them. As, you know, the dungeon was ending. And they basically were sticking around laughing to see all the people that, um, made fun of them. <laughs> but what I told them was, uh, basically said to them was, that things like this... This is why you're alone. This is why none of your friends feel like real friends. And this is why you've never been able to feel as though you've ever connected with another human being truthfully. This is why when you die, it will be quiet and no one will mourn. Uh -huh. And I left the dungeon just in time to hear, uh, to see the person who had been friends with him up until that point go, Wow. And everyone in the free company was just like, that was wordy as hell and Jesus Christ, man. Like, well, I was upset. Like, that's that's not normal upset. That is serial killer upset. <laughs> that was, you were way too calm thinking that out upset. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I am down. Only eight lever levers levels to go. Oh, man, I am thinking about between episodes, which are ending shortly, of uh, doing the mining so that it... Or at least mining out the dirt so it's not nearly as boring. I don't know. Well, anyway. I'm glad I put most of my stuff in a chest just before that zombie killed me. Apparently I closed that timer down. Whatever. I don't care. All right. 